In this video, I'm going to show you a stoichiometry map, or at least that's what I call it. Uh, all stoichiometry problems are relatively simple. It's just a matter of understanding the workings of how the quantities and the different things we can calculate are related. At the very center of the map here, I'm going to write moles of A, where A can be any substance, water, an acid, hydrochloric acid, whatever. Then I'm going to write mass of A, so it's usually a quantity in grams. And here I'm going to write particles of A, which can be atoms or molecules. So looking at this map, we can convert from these quantities using different dimensional factors. So in this case, if I want to go from particles of A to moles of A, the factor I'm going to use is Avogadro's number. Mm -hmm. Avogadro's number. And if I want to go from moles of A to mass of A, I'm going to use the molar mass of A, which we can cancel. Which will cancel out and which we can calculate from a periodic table. So the molar mass of A. These are the factors that we use, but we need to know how to set them up. These actually are reversible, so it depends on where we're starting. If we're starting with moles A, we can convert to mass A, or if we're starting with mass A, we can convert directly to moles A using molar mass expressed in a certain setup. If we're going from moles A to particles A, we're going to use Avogadro's number. And if we're using particles A to moles A, we are going to use Avogadro's number as well. But it depends on what sense we're going, where, if we're going to divide or multiply, or how we're going to set up the dimensional factor using um, dimensional analysis. Now, when I draw the twin of the map, or the mirror image, the reflection, I'm going to do exactly the same, but here I'm going to write moles B. And here I'm going to write particles B. And here I'm going to write mass of B. So if we look at the map, it's exactly the same thing, but here we're going to do the same thing. Here if we want to convert between these two, we also need Avogadro's number. And if we're going to convert from moles to mass, I'm going to use molar mass of what? Of B, where B can be another compound. Why is this relevant? Because we have chemical reactions where we're converting, for example, let's see a very simple reaction, hydrogen gas reacting with oxygen gas to yield water. So we would have a reaction and we need to know if we're starting off with certain grams of hydrogen, how are we going to convert to moles of oxygen or moles of water or particles of water, mass of water? It depends. So at the end of the day, what is the bridge between these two? When we want to convert from one substance to the other, we have to go through moles, where this factor in the middle is molar ratio. And the molar ratio comes from a balanced chemical equation. Or reaction. So in this case, when I balance it, I know that we're going to add a uh, number 2 to the water and a number 2 to the hydrogen. So we know that the ratio for this reaction is for every two hydrogen molecules, we need one molecule of oxygen and this is going to produce two molecules of water. But this also means that two moles of hydrogen with one mole of oxygen is going to give us one mole, I mean two moles of water, okay? So this is our ratio, and this is how we're going to set it up. So in this case, it's just easy to analyze. There are very few types of problems, really, in stoichiometry. Particles to moles, moles to particles, mass to moles, moles to mass of the same substance. Then there are other problems, like mass of a substance to moles of another substance, moles of another substance to mass of another substance, particles of a substance to mass of another substance to particles of another substance. So B and A are different substances and we can convert from all of, from any point on the map to the other points, just as long as we go through these steps, okay? Now, the thing here is we want to know that, let's say that we want to get from particles B to mass A. We're starting off here and then we count the arrows to see how many setups we would need. So we would need particles B as a given, information that we're being given, 
converted with Avogadro's number, then with the molar ratio from our balance reaction, and then with the molar mass of A setup. But there are other videos in which I will show you this, but don't be afraid to always consult the uh, stoichiometry map, which is a very convenient and easy tool to know how to get from one quantity to another quantity.